Hey guys, Dan the Man 92 back in with another video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you my new welding cart that I got and some more accessories I got for my welder. So, stay tuned. So, here we go, you guys. Got the uh, Chicago Electric uh, Flux 125 welding machine and got the Harbor Freight cart. Really enjoyed it. I just put the cart together maybe like five minutes ago or so, but it seems sturdy enough. I do not have any gas tanks on there, so right now it's going to hold my uh, grinder right there. Figure that's pretty good storage space, that way it's out of the way. But there we go. Nice little hook right there to. Uh, wrap the ground clamp on and then I just have it just connected there that way it's not just flail flailing around or anything also have some of my magnetic holders there to hold the metal and then on this side wound up I have my uh, actual gun and the power cable underneath I have my welding gloves, an extra spool of flux cord wire. That's the one that came with the welder. That one sucks. Right now I have the uh, Vulcan flux wire in there. Have some welding pliers, have a uh, slag pick and hammer. Got some extra discs for the grinder. Got some wire brushes. Down on the bottom I have my welding helmet that I've got maybe five years ago or so. People say, oh, you shouldn't have gotten that one since I think I paid like 15, 20 bucks for it. They're like, yeah, that's gonna suck. You're gonna hurt your eyes. Use it several times since I got this welder and works phenomenally. No issues whatsoever, no arc flash, but that's beside the point. Anyway, this cart is good enough for what I'm going to be doing, holds everything I need. If you guys can think of anything else that I should add to this cart, let me know. Like that the uh, front two casters are swivel, that way you can just easily rotate it around. Now, one thing I do plan on doing is getting rid of one of these two tables right here and putting in a metal table. Plan on making my own welding table, so I'm just not sure whether I should get rid of this one or get rid of that one. If I get rid of that one, I'll take all this and just push it down against the wall over there. So the uh, my weld station is going to be right here. But if I get rid of this, then I'll just undo the vise. Might, actually might put that vise on my new welding table. Or I might just put that vise on that table. And then buy another vise for my welding table. Then obviously move the drill press and then all this other crap that I have. But anyway, this is a kind of short video. I did make another video showing my Harbor Freight haul type thing about uh, just showing the gloves that I got, the wire brushes, the uh, slag hammer down there, and the uh, magnets. But I was about to post and then I was like, this video sucks, I'll just, I'll just wait. <laughs> But this is it. Very pleased with this. I think I got this for, I think it was like 30 bucks. So very happy with that. I could have gotten the Vulcan one, but I just didn't want to spend that much more money. Even though the cart was a little bit bigger, this one's perfect for what I'm gonna use it for. Also, what I might, Think, well, what I'm thinking about doing 
is getting the what is it the stick welder that they have that cheap it, i think it was like 140 160 bucks might get that little one and then put it down there and then obviously move the welding helmet but pretty cool anyway you guys if you have any suggestions let me know in the comments section below we are very close to hitting 2,000 subscribers um i believe i checked the other day and i'm at 1,900 and like 77 or 75 subscribers so let's get it up to 2,000 once i hit that i'll be doing a big giveaway so look out for that anyway you guys don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everyone.